Hello, and welcome to Tracking Pending Publications, a video from Himmelfarb Library's Scholarly Communications Committee. My name is Brittany Smith, and I'm a metadata specialist with the library. This video is publicly available and licensed under a CC BYNC SA Creative Commons license. Although some resources discussed in the series are only available to faculty, staff, and students with access to Himmelfarb Library's resources. Today, we will briefly discuss what happens to a manuscript after it's submitted to an academic journal. Let's get started. You've compiled your manuscript, filled out the required fields, and successfully submitted it to the journal of your choice. What happens next? How long will it take for you to receive a response? The length and specifics of the editorial and peer review process may vary significantly from journal to journal. If you want a definitive answer on when to expect a final decision, then explore the submission guidelines and FAQ sections of the specific journal you're submitting to. The review process may take a few weeks or a few months, and as the author, you will need to decide if you're comfortable with the wait time or if it's best to submit your manuscript to another journal. Through an online submission or editorial management system, such as Elsevier's Editorial Manager, you can follow your manuscript's progress as it moves through the different stages of the editorial process. With that caveat in mind, let's explore a typical post-submission process. Once the manuscript has been submitted, it's handed over to the journal's editor or team of editors. If multiple editors read through the submission, then one is typically designated as the managing editor for the duration of the process. At this stage, the editors read through the manuscript before deciding to call in external reviewers. The manuscript may be rejected at this point for various reasons, including, but not limited to, the perceived quality of content, or the research may be a poor fit for the journal. If the manuscript is rejected, don't worry. It can be submitted to another journal for consideration. Sometimes an editor will even offer recommendations for another journal who may be interested in your research, but this recommendation is a courtesy and not a guarantee of future publication. When the managing editor is ready to move forward, they'll locate reviewers and the manuscript moves to the next stage. At this point, the manuscript arrives at the reviewer's desk and here the research is carefully scrutinized. Again, this portion of the process may vary in length and will depend on the number of number of reviewers tapped to read the manuscript and their current availability. After the initial review is complete and the manuscript is sent back to the managing editor, they may decide to call in additional reviewers to comb through the manuscript or they may feel ready to make a final decision. Once they have the manuscript again, the managing editor will either accept the manuscript, accept conditional upon revisions, or reject it. If the manuscript is accepted, then congratulations. However, this is very rare. The vast majority of articles require revisions in response to reviewer comments. After the peer review, an editor may also request the manuscript be resubmitted after minor or major revisions. Again, this is not a guarantee of publication, but an opportunity for further review. Some manuscripts go through multiple stages of revisions, so be prepared for a process that can take weeks or months. Once this entire process is complete, the manuscript will be handed over to the journal's production team who will work to polish it before its publication date. Some publishers have online systems that allow you to track your manuscript if it's accepted by the journal. An example of this is Elsevier's article tracking service, which allows you to check the current status of your manuscript during the publication process. The journey from submission to final decision is a winding one with many different branching paths. A significant period of time can pass before you receive a final decision, but knowing and understanding the steps in the editorial and review process may alleviate any anxiety you experience as you wait for the, that final decision. As stated earlier, the specific time frame of this entire process will vary from journal to journal. If you're interested in knowing the average wait time, explore your selected journal's submission page. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Tracking Pending Publications, a part of the webinar series from the Himmelfarb Library. If you enjoyed this webinar, please visit this link to view more videos in the series. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or have questions specific to your own research, please feel free to contact me at bsmith91 at gwu.edu. Thank you for listening.